Well, you know, it was modern. Modern. Something new in the world. And especially after the war and the war years and all those losses and destruction, it was like the birth of a new society. So how I got to California was that I was in Chicago at the Institute of Design. The Eameses came to the school to speak. We were hanging from the rafters. I mean, it was like, ah, oh, you know, the gates of heaven had, hold, had opened up and we all went in it. And I mean, Charles showed us these things, which were, now we all know them. But nobody uh, looked at kites that way before. I mean, nobody looked at bread that way before. Uh, nobody, you know, the ordinary things of the world were suddenly extraordinary. And um, plus, of course, the work they were doing. And I'd known about them also because I think that there was a Life magazine issue, the house that Eames built. And I looked at Charles and Ray and the toys that they were doing, and I felt like, oh, it was sort of like part of me, or part of me wanted to be part of that. So fortunately, Charles and Ray decided they needed some uh, intern to come and help in the summer. I think it was 53. Well, I was very happy. I would also get scared. I mean, I was only 22, and you know, in those years, there were very few designers. And of all designers in the world, I was with the best, and not only the best, but as people and as compatible people. Six More Catalog has a little bit of, it's playful, but has a little minimalist, you know, it's sharp, it's sharp. And when I looked at the work uh, just now, the work in that catalog is not so sharp, but it must have been also what was going on in graphics, which this minute I don't exactly remember. But I was very excited by uh, treating letter forms in a non-traditional way. By today's standards, it looks kind of traditional because it's symmetrical, uh, but it was taking it one step further. And the type becomes the message. And you look at it and you know what it's about. I think it was something like that. And also fluorescent ink, oh my God. We didn't used to have fluorescent ink to play with. And you, so you can get fluorescent paper and print with fluorescent inks. I mean, talk about a brave new world. <laughs> I mean, this is in the 60s, of course.